What's going on guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about the greatest tool added to CC 2019. God damn, they get that. Okay, so essentially what it is, is a content aware fill tool, this tool here. Essentially, you know when you want to quickly get rid of something in your image, like a person, a shop name, that sort of thing? Normally it takes forever if you use the patch tool, now you can do it in under a minute, it's crazy. So essentially how you get started is you click like a lasso tool, or select tool. I'm going to get rid of this thing here. Um, I'm going to select around it, so I'm going to click here. I might as well get rid of the reflection as well. Once I've done that, it doesn't have to be crazy accurate, but a little bit accurate. Then you go to edit, select content aware fill. Well, bam, it'll then bring you to this menu here. Now the green is what it's going to use to sample from. Here you can have to add where you want it to sample from or take away. Um, for this, we don't really want it to sample from her clothes. So we're going to take it away. So on the left hand side you have your image, on the right hand side you have the final rendered image of what it will look like. So as you can see, it's pretty much gone. I don't even really need to be messing around with the rest of the stuff. So I can take away a bit more to get it a bit more smooth. Then at the right hand side here you have different things like color adaptation. So if you click that and look here it's going to change a few things. So you can mess around and see what looks best. You have rotation adaptation. Okay that looks good. You have scale. We'll have to scale up a little bit. There we go. We'll mirror it. Nope. Okay, then we're gonna hit okay and then well bam god damn digging it Look, let's get boom boom of course it's not perfect the more time you spend of it you know the more sensational it's gonna look but the fact you can do this in mere seconds is crazy I'm gonna get rid of like all of these now because I'm addicted so we're gonna do this one select round of the lasso tool edit content aware fill or bad, uh, I don't even need to do anything. That's that looks good enough to be honest. Should I hit scale? See if it does anything. Yeah, okay. Hit okay. God damn. Let's do a quick before and after. Well, bam. Well, bam. Sensational. Even like this little red bit here. Let's see if we can. You know, this might be a bit tough. Let's really test it. See if we can get rid of that. Make sure you select the background layer. Otherwise, we'll do that weird glitch effect. Edit content aware feel. What, oh my goodness, that's not too bad. Scale. Of course, it's sampling from the clothes, so we can technically get rid of that a little bit. Don't really want to be getting any weird textures. Yeah, look at that. We're going to hit OK. Bam. Sensational. Marvelous. God damn, did it. Okay. So, quick before and after. Bam. Bam. Okay, so we can try one more. We have this image of Becky, unedited. And there's some people here, let's get rid of them because why the hell not? Let's see if it's powerful enough to get rid of them. Of course, it's not going to be perfect. And the more accurate you draw this, you know, the better it will be. But in case we use the lasso tool, draw around the subject, edit, content aware fill. Well, bye! Okay, so it does this weird glitch effect. So what you need to do is get rid of the parts you don't want to sample from. So I'm going to get rid of Becky's skin and her face because her face is brilliant, it's kind of weird. And as you're doing it, it will update in real time, which is good. Okay, I think technically I can get rid of this whole section on the left, so I'm going to do that. See if it will produce a better image. You can also like change the brush size, that sort of thing. If you want to get like fine details, etc. Or if you want to add, you know, a bit of sample, add some sample here. Okay, to me, that doesn't look kind of crazy. We're trying to do this as quick as possible because again, we're saving time here. If you wanted to like tighten it up later, you can. Well, bam. Okay, not bad. Let's see if we can add something. Color adaptation. Let's see if that does anything. Mm. Okay, that's. Mm. I'll leave it on default. Rotation adaptation. Well, bam. Mm. No, that looks kind of. Uh, absolutely not kind, sir. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Still sampling from her leg. Okay. I mean, it's not perfect, but if we spend more time with it, we could probably get it right. So we're just going to hit OK to see what it looks like and deselect the layer. That's not bad, if I'm honest with you. Like, if I was to slap this on Instagram right now, nobody would be able to tell that there was a person there. So we're going to merge the layers. I'm just going to edit this real quick. Merge the layers, open the camera raw, of course. Use some of my presets. Guys, if you haven't checked my preset site, I've got a whole new bunch of presets there. Okay, I'm going to use, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I like this one. So we're going to hit that one. Okay. Well, bam. That's not too bad. Then I'll save this image. Let's do before. Bam. With the people there. Ungraded. After. Well, bam. Sensational. Marvelous. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, share, subscribe, comment, like. 
What do you think about the new content aware feel tool? If you want to see any more videos or anything similar, let me know in the comments below. Also, check out my presets. Link in the description. I've got like eight new presets for you guys. Peace.